Hello again, friends. I uh, thought I'd give you a little trick, or not a trick, but something that I do. You might have a better idea. But I, in most of my videos, or quite a few of them, I always talk about glue traps. Now, I have old vehicles and a you know, shed and stuff like that, like most everybody else. And uh, the reason I prefer the glue traps over the mouse traps is because you can catch more than a mouse for one thing. The other thing is, uh, if you check them often, you still can catch the whatever you've caught alive. Uh, I'm going to show you that, that my wife's probably going to kill me for showing you this, but I'm going to show you anyway. Okay, this is my garage door entrance. Can you see that big spider? Okay. I don't know what that is, but that's some kind of beetle. But with cool weather coming on, cold weather, I should say, there's another acorn that just hit Dookie. <sighs> anyway, well, okay, I'm dropping stuff out of my pocket. Okay, uh, here's something else. Check out that lizard, which I, I'm not afraid of lizard, but then again, I don't want to wake up with them. They're all trying to come into the house in the garage, someplace, any place that's going to be warm. So I put these glue traps out. And uh, this is the, I'm not recommending any brand or anything. This is just what my wife picked up at, I think, at Walmart. And that particular day, or at least one here, they had Catchmaster glue boards. So I have going to put some fresh ones out. And how I tell if they're fresh or not, or still good, is, see how my finger sticks to that? It even pulls up the rest of the board. That means if something walks on it, crawls on it, glides on it, whatever, there's a little centipede, it, it'll get caught on that, and it'll finally, you know, like insects and stuff, you know, they'll finally die. They get so tired trying to get off, they just finally give up and die, which is, yoo -hoo, that's good for me. Because I don't want them in the bed or in the house with me. So I'm going to try to show you how to apply these things if I can. Kind of hard to do with. Let me set this. Well, I don't know how to do this. Okay, you peel off. Peel off this cover here. Well, kind of hard to do, I'm telling you, with one. These glue traps are pretty good. And actually... Don't tell my wife I said this, but they smell pretty good, too. I enjoy the smell of them. Anyway, I just kind of put a few glue traps down here and there. Let's see where I want to. I'll get rid of this one because it looks like it's kind of full up. And, of course, in the winter months, you don't have to worry about insects because they're all hibernating or dead or whatever insects do in the winter. I'm not one of those experts on it but see this one still works too even the one i just took up see how sticky that is you know what i'm gonna set it right there now my garage door comes all the way down but i'm telling you spiders house flies whatever they find a way to get into your house for the winter they know what time of the year it is and if they can sleep it off in your nice warm cozy house they're going to do it so Anyway, I recommend these glue traps, as I said, and uh, glue boards is what they what they call them. But you can catch anything. I've caught snakes, as I said, lizards. Of course, you catch spiders, bugs, beetles, whatever that gets on there. And uh, if you ever, most of the time, I'll save lizards and let them go 